Hey everybody. So I'm going to talk to you about having a toolbox and what kind of tools are helpful in your journey of life coaching, of understanding who you are, of understanding who, who you were designed to be. So the first part is a very simple part. You need to determine whose team you're on. Are you on team devil or are you on team God? And if you're on Team Devil, then we have nothing more to talk about. Like, that's where you are. That's where you're choosing to be. And if that's where you're going to stay, that's fine. Just that's not what this is about. If you want to understand how to be on Team God and Team Jesus, then there's other tools that you're going to need in order to help you to fight Team Satan. Okay? But you need the tools of Jesus and of God and his love in order to get you where you want to go. So the first tool that you need is a Bible. And a Bible is basic instructions before leaving earth. There's all this scripture and there are things within scripture that are going to help you in your journey. And you see that this is written in, okay? That means I use it, okay? I... I read it to understand it. I use other books and other commentaries to clarify, understand what this says. And then I declare the word over my life. One of the things about living is that we are going to have many thoughts. We are going to have many words that come out of our mouth. And then we are going to create deeds with our hands. Okay. So it's thoughts and it's words and it's deeds with our hands. And how we determine and we can kind of watch ourselves and alert ourselves is through our emotions. This is a tool. This is a motion wheel. And if you look at the red all the way to the green, this is a Pac-Man shape. Okay. And the devil, okay, the devil wants to eat us up with this Pac-Man. He wants us to be stuck in sin, okay? Stuck in negativity. But if we want to be in the light and we want to be in God's light, in this light, okay? That means we need to understand our emotions, okay? And so by understanding our emotions, we can then go, oh, wow, I'm in a negative emotion. That's not from God, that's from the devil. Therefore, I need to change my mind, my thoughts, my words, my declarations, and my actions, my hands with what I'm doing. Okay? Now, God and his basic instructions before leaving earth, okay? God has a plan. And God's plan is described in his instructions, okay? And within those instructions, he has set up some rules that we need to follow. And the basic rules, okay, are the Ten Commandments, okay? And these Ten Commandments are basically like a guide, okay? And then we can look at these Ten Commandments and we could say, okay, thou shalt not have a, no other gods before me. Did I do that today? Did I put something else as an idol before God and above God today? And if we can answer that question and say, oh, I put my fitness above God today and I didn't get into the Bible. I didn't get into word. God, I confess I'm sorry. Show me how to incorporate you into my day before I let the idols of fitness overcome my day. Okay. The point is we need to ask ourselves these questions every day. So it's like our checkoff list. Like, am I following what God wants me to do today? Or am I off on my own path heading towards fire and brimstone? Because I'm listening to what the devil is telling me that I should do and what is desirable of the flesh versus living in what God says and what he wants us to do, which is to follow his Ten Commandments. Okay, now, yes, Jesus died on the cross. He is the perfect lamb sacrifice. It is Jesus's victory that we are going to claim through the Bible and through the word over our life 
And then we're going to look at our life and go, am I following these 10 commandments? If I am, and I'm getting closer to becoming more holy and more righteous, then, then that's a sign that I'm on the right path. Now, when we start to understand what God's word is, and we understand what the Ten Commandments are, we then, at some point, probably want to understand what the Hebrew language and what these letters mean, how this alphabet from A to Z, from Genesis to Revelation, what it means. And God's language is Hebrew. That's what it is. Um, something I'm learning. I'm not an expert. I am a total novice and a beginner, but I am putting myself under God's authority to understand this. And it's one day at a time. It's one day at a time. Okay. And the other thing that you're going to need in your toolbox, besides these other things I've talked about, is a journal, a place to write down what you're understanding. And within that understanding, you probably also want some Bible highlighters and some pens to write down what you're understanding and to go, wow, okay, on this day, I had an understanding of you know, you can run the race, you can fail, but, you know, either I'm going to understand this New Testament and Old Testament, and I'm I'm going to, like, apply what I'm learning in here in my notes. I'm going to apply it to my life, and then my hands, my actions of what I do with my life is going to tell a new story of restoration, okay? And that's with Jesus, with the God of Israel. My life is going to start to reflect him. And his victory. Okay, so let's review my toolbox items. So we have a journal. We have pens and markers to write down and get things going. We have a Hebrew alphabet. So we're going to start to be open to God's language. Okay, the Ten Commandments to understand what they mean and how I need to be living my life under who God wants me to be. Okay, um... We're going to have the Bible, which is our go-to, okay? Basic instructions before leaving earth. I'm going to check in with my emotions and realize, you know, I'm in a, am I in a happy place, a place that God wants me to be, believing in what he proclaims over us, what's possible to receive his protection and his blessings? Or am I going to be in all this negativity of what the devil promises us if we live in the flesh? And so it comes back to the beginning, Okay, am I choosing the devil and what he says is false? Or am I choosing God and what he says is true? These are the choices. Are we going to choose Satan and his devilish, demonic way of living in the flesh, which is all about lies? Or are we going to choose God, the God of Israel, the only true God, his beautiful son, Jesus, who died on the cross, was buried and resurrected from the dead and sits and reigns and rules in heaven with God our Father. And we receive the Holy Spirit that's going to guide us one day at a time to be more and more holy and pure and righteous like the Lord. It's a choice, people. It is a choice. Now, I'm presenting to you a toolbox. This is the way. Okay, this is the truth, this is the way, this is the life, and this is an, an experience. It is a personal relationship with God, okay? The option is you can choose the devil, you can choose to do things your way, and you can choose to stay in sin, you can choose to be in the flesh, and what awaits you at the end by listening to the devil is fire and brimstone. Not a nice place that you want to be. It's not the place. So my invitation to you is to choose God, choose God's love, choose life, choose eternal life. And that means choose Jesus at the cross, his death, burial, and resurrection. That is the key to the truth, the way, and the life, eternal life. God's love, God's forgiveness, God's grace, God's mercy, God's protection, God's blessings 
to bestow upon us for those who believe. John 3, 16. So, toolbox, focusing on God, that's my invitation. If any of this is strange, unfamiliar, you want to dive into this, you want to have a personal one-on-one -on -one experience of how this is used, how to, you know, declare scripture over yourself, how to incorporate this into your life personally and within your business, I am a life coach and I am here to help you use these tools in order to get yourself on the straight and narrow path. Thank you for listening. Have a good one.